Hello everyone. I welcome you all to this particular session on the clinical sign of the day. So to adjust an add-on, in this session I will be also showing you an image of the day and I will also be giving you a homework of the day. So let me just start with the session. So before going on the session, the updates from Unacademy is that Unacademy has come up with the two important batch courses for the FMG students who are appearing for the exam in December and next important batch course which is starting is Target Next 2022 batch. Both of these batch courses, they are starting from 8th of September. And to get subscribed to these particular courses, you can use my code that is LIVEMED, wherein you will get an additional 10% discount on your subscriptions. And these are the granted series which are going on on an academy. This will be useful for the students appearing for the NEED PG exam. And this is a very important update, right? For 24 months period subscription, you will be getting 4 months subscription free. And for 12 months subscription, you will be getting 2 months subscription free. And this is a limited period offer. And for getting subscribed, you can use my code that is LIVEMED, wherein you will get an additional 10% discount. Then, yes. Now, let me just discuss the sign of the day. So, the question is, which of the following type of epilepsy is not seen in this disorder? I'll just play the video and then you answer the question. Right, so that was a very beautiful neurological sign, right? It is bad for the patient, but for the examination point of view, right, they, it's a very important sign. And that particular sign, it is suggestive of bilateral myoclonic jerks. So, seeing the age of the individual, in which clinical condition you will have this bilateral myoclonic jerks, they are nothing but myoclonic jerks, you will have that in clinical condition that is juvenile myoclonic epilepsy right if you take the age of the individual right she will be in the juvenile age group and the clinical sign what you have seen is the myoclonic jerks which are present bilaterally and this juvenile myoclonic epilepsy you have three important types of epilepsy you can have the presence of absent seizures you can have the presence of gtcs generalized chronic clonic seizures and as well as myoclonic jerks and these myoclonic jerks they are present bilaterally so let me tell you which of the following type of epilepsy is not seen in juvenile myoclonic epilepsy that is focal epilepsy will not be seen and let me just give you some important points some very important points related to your juvenile myoclonic epilepsy now you should know what is the age group where you will see this juvenile myoclonic epilepsy commonly as the word itself tells you it is commonly seen in the juvenile age group and which part of the day you will have these myoclonic jerks very commonly? Early in the morning after awakening, you will have these myoclonic jerks very commonly. What are the precipitating factors for the development of these juvenile myoclonic epilepsy? That is deprived sleep and alcohol consumption. That will be the precipitating factors for the development of this juvenile myoclonic epilepsy. And these myoclonic jerks, please remember, they are bilateral. They are not unilateral, they are bilateral. And what are the other types of epilepsy you will see in juvenile myoclonic epilepsy? One is absent seizures and the other one is GTCS, generalized chronic chronic seizures. And how will be the consciousness of the individual during juvenile myoclonic epilepsy? As you have seen, the child, the consciousness of the individual will be preserved. Right? This is a very important point. And family history is present. And what does the EEG show? EEG shows 4 to 6 heads irregular polyspike activity. That will be the EEG pattern in juvenile myoclonic epilepsy. And drug of choice in juvenile myoclonic epilepsy will be valproic acid. So these are the important points related to your juvenile myoclonic epilepsy. Now, let me show you the image of the day. Right, so this is a very important EEG which I am showing you. And this EEG is nothing but EEG of juvenile myoclonic epilepsy. Right, so you can observe here this particular activity is nothing but 4 to 6 hertz irregular polyspike activity which is characteristic of juvenile myoclonic epilepsy.
right? And having said this, let me also just give you the homework of the day. The homework of the day is that the question is which of the following is not a feature of Lennox Gastrot syndrome? The options are multiple seizure type, an EG shows slow spike and wave discharge. Lennox Gastrot syndrome has good prognosis, impaired cognitive function in most but not all cases. So the question is, which of the following is not a feature of the Lennox Gastrot syndrome? So this will be your homework of the day. And please answer your answers in the comment box, wherein I'll revert you back with the correct answer. So if you have liked this particular video, just press the like button and share the video to your friends, which will be very much useful for the students appearing for NEET PG and as well as FMG exam. Thank you very much.